Good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And, uh, of course, uh, the uh, cable company uh, portion of the program replays on Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. And it's my sidekick, Matt LeBlanc. Before I forget, <laughs> I want to put him on the payroll right now. There we go. Uh, we always joked about Andrew being on the payroll. Mm -hmm. and of course, Andrew and I did it, uh, all, I don't know, 10 years mm -hmm. together. And uh, neither one of us got any money. Right. We're still waiting for somebody to, <laughs> <laughs> to pay us. But no, I'm joking. You pay me by, by being so nice to me, telling me you enjoy the program, patting me on the shoulder, introducing yourself. That is the payment that I've done this almost 40 years now. Wow. And uh, the word is getting out, and I can mention it. Uh, I'm considering, considering uh, making this uh, the end of the year, uh, the last of the Bobby Dupre show uh, as we see it today. Uh, I visited with uh, Charlie Shotland and uh, Ed Blanchard, uh, two of the owners of uh, Delta Media, mm -hmm. where we film this program where you work and uh, where we sold uh, KDCG mm -hmm. television to uh, just to bring everybody up to speed. And uh, they said, well, we hate to see you go. Could you think up of something else you m that might not be so time consuming? Mm -hmm. uh, people see it for one hour, but it takes hours of planning to get to that point. And then on Wednesday morning, I have to be here. When I was on the radio, it was easy. I, I could do it on the telephone no matter where I was. Mm -hmm. Mississippi River fishing with Chris Fazer, who's deceased now, and Blue and Noel and maybe somebody else uh, on, on a boat going into some of these marshes uh, out of uh, Venice, Louisiana. Uh, Madrid, Spain, uh, mm -hmm. Mexico City, Mexico, yep. Canada, you name it, uh, on a motorcycle trip, wh wherever I was, on a telephone, you can do it. When I was home, I was more than likely still in my pajamas uh, in a little office that I have there. And I have it locked up and it's kind of messy and nobody sees that room. I've got to clean it up. And uh, well, the, the girls at the office, uh, little Kelly, uh, Bork, uh, Belinda, and uh, Lisa, and, and David might have been there at that time too when I told them what I was thinking. They said, well, good. Uh, it's tough. We know it's hard on you. You have to get up real early every Wednesday. And, uh, but that's not too bad. That part is not bad. It, it's just having to be here to do it. Mm -hmm. And luckily, I've had Andrew for years, and then you now, uh, uh, more than, well, you even offered to come and do it at my house, yeah. tape the program at home. So, you know, who knows? We might kind of close it out that way, where we could get some of our friends to come and visit sure. and drink coffee and Maybe Ray Bello could cook him a little breakfast one well, there day. There you go. That's not bad at all. <laughs> it's getting better all along. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shoot. So anyhow, uh, maybe start writing that book is what they said. Why don't you start writing that book that uh, people talk to you about writing a book, and mm -hmm. you talk about it, but you haven't started. I haven't started very much, but I have a world of material. I have somewhere, if I can locate all my boxes of previous uh, shows, uh, for almost 40 years. Uh, in beginning of January will end 40 years, so I, I might have to do one or two programs in, mm -hmm. in January to be honest and clean with my 40 years of doing the program. But it, and it's, it's fun. It's not has been fun, it's still fun. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show some pictures of some people that I met that uh, hadn't seen in a good while and uh, reminisced about the little farm on Staley Road. And we'll, we'll get to that <laughs> in a little while. But we need to get a couple of sponsors sure. in here. Sure. Let's talk about Carl's Thrifty Way in Opelousas, located right next door to the old KDCG building, right there, right next door to Dr. Brent Prather's office. And there's this graphic up there that's on 2961 South Union. And Carl's, of course, is a pharmacy. So for all your pharmaceutical needs, you can visit Carl's. But Carl's also has a one-of-a-kind gift shop inside. And when I say one-of-a-kind, I mean they are, I've got some really nice items. As you can see right here, I'm showing you a couple of them. This is, they've got clothing, they've got purses, um, yeah, and jewelry, purses. I mean, look at this nice stuff. This is really nice. Look at that home decor. That's a 
<laughs> there you go. Look at that home decor right behind these blouses. Some really, really good stuff. I wish I could get the picture a little bit bigger, but it's, it's one of the Facebook pictures. There you go. You can see it a little bit better right there. So go visit Carl's in Opelousas. Carl's Thrifty Way for all your pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical and needs, does but also your gift needs. Which I'm reading That's right. more and more uh, as the people get a little older. Uh, it's easier to <clears throat> make sure that all of their medication is taken on time every time that is correct that's necessary that is correct they can help you with that cross through to wayne opelousas and visit them on facebook too if you want to see some more of those pictures and let's also talk about targill seasoning located in opelousas also on wartell street and for all your seasoning butcher supplies cutlery and kitchen supply needs you can visit them and of course for all your seasoning needs you can get your own blends done there they'll package it for you they will make your own they, you give them Real your recipe good good item to open doors yes. for a salesman uh, Absolutely you have is. salesmen out on the road you give them uh, each a few small cases mm -hmm. of this uh, periodically and uh, they'll pass that out to, to their customers out uh, what they're calling on and I can tell you it's going to help open those doors yep. and it's going to be a reminder and then the wife will be asking uh, the, the person, uh, are we going to get any more? I'm just about out of that uh, season. Yeah. I sure yeah. like it. Uh, so there's a anyhow, lot of them out there. Uh, there's not many businesses out there that don't have the, the seasonings now that they can give out as Christmas gifts or, you know, the sales calls. That's important. You go out of state on a sales call, you give them a bottle of seasoning. Man, that's, that's like gold to them. So go see them over at Targill Seasoning on Wartell in Opelousas. And we got one more we want to talk about. We want to mention JB Sandals located on North Main Street in Opelousas, right across from the, uh, it's not the courthouse, it's uh, the C city court. The city court. That's correct. Uh, you can see and them across the from the library. The it's an easier Opelousas, landmark. The uh, St. Landry uh, Library. But you know where J.B. Sandals is. I don't have to tell you because they've been there for over 135 they've, years. They've, and everybody uh, knows. They've taken the test of time. That's right. And they're <laughs> still they've, going they've strong. It. And still, that's right. Uh, Neil is just as interested in making sure that every item that... Uh, his great great grandpa had in the store is still available that's right and in the same friendly manner when you walk in you have a salesperson that greets you at the door 100 percent correct and brings you very to helpful. the item you don't have to stay long you don't have to wait you if you want if you're in a taxi it's not going to run the bill up very much you're right about that it's an absolute pleasurable experience from the second you walk into the door to the second you check out they really take care of you over at jb sandals so see them for everything you need around the home and also gift ideas jb sandals and opelousas jb sandals has it all all right we'll let you get back to the program here and I'd like to uh, put in a good word for Century 21 uh, Real Estate uh, here in uh, Opelousas, uh, St. Landry, and of course Eunice, uh, which would be St. Landry, Evangeline, and Acadia. Mm -hmm. Eunice sits right in that little uh, triangle like there. And uh, Raymond Aguilard is our broker owner. I'm just uh, one of the owners. I'm not a licensed uh, agent. But uh, I can tell you that uh, these uh, folks, uh, these people, uh, sales agents uh, associated with uh, Century 21 and Opelousas and Eunice are very, very professional, I could use that word, mm -hmm. and they're very concerned. When they uh, are working with you to find uh, maybe a home, maybe find some acreage, maybe find a commercial location, maybe a building that you need to rent, you need to grow into a little bit larger building, mm -hmm. you get in touch with our, one of our agents, and I mean, they're going to all get to work on it and uh, somebody will come up with the solution and uh, if you want to list your property I certainly ask you to consider seriously uh, listing your property with the Century 21 in Opelousas and uh, in Eunice and uh, it'll help yours truly uh, take care of some of the needs and some of the donations that I make come from the little bit of money that I get out of these little businesses here and there mm -hmm. and uh, certainly want to continue uh, encouraging people to 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 get to be a giver, and uh, we're gonna uh, start a new program out at uh, s changing the subject here mm -hmm. uh, uh, at Three Mile Lake. Uh, we had a, a meeting of the members of Three Mile Lake and a lot of owners of Three Mile Lake uh, on Monday night at Opelousas General Hospital on the third floor in the auditorium there, and we had a large crowd. We had a real good attendance. Uh, Harold Taylor and uh, Ricky 
had a uh, program that uh, they had uh, studied and had shown to a number of our members and uh, presented it to the membership on Monday night and it looked like it was unanimous. I didn't see one person uh, not signify when we asked for a vote uh, all yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's a very ambitious would be a word we could use because it's kind of like starting over. We're going to take the the trash fish out first, mm -hmm. and then we're going to come in and put uh, the fingerlings in uh, after that. And uh, it, it'll cost money, but uh, we start not with a hundred dollar uh, additional, and it's going to be a separate fund. It won't be the hundred dollars that we charge for memberships mm -hmm. now. This will be in a separate fund, so that we're not going to touch that other money. It, it's already committed just about every year the different projects that we take undertake already so uh, I'm anxious to s get this thing going and uh, we're going to be mailing uh, details to all the lot owners uh, of Three Mile Lake Even if you're not a present member we ask you to consider joining or at least uh, participating in uh, this function here you don't sure. have to be a member we we'll, we we'll certainly would like you to participate because it's going to bring the property values up. Oh, if, yeah. If one of the first things that uh, people that are interested in buying property at Three Mile Lake, how's the fishing? Yeah. Well, it's on a lake. Well, sure, that, absolutely. That, that's that's what, a big part one, of it. One, that's one of the things. And it's not just the adults. It's, it's for the children and the grandchildren. You mm -hmm. take them out there sure. and you teach them how the outdoors and how to fish and how to be a good sport about the fishing and mm -hmm. uh, it, on and on. But uh, anyhow, I, I wanted to bring that out. Uh, you will be receiving uh, material on that, and if you have any questions, you'll, be able to ha you'll have numbers on there for uh, both Harold Taylor and Ricky. And I can't think of Ricky's last name, but Ricky. And uh, uh, they uh, already took a test, and we know what's necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, Next thing would be Sunrise Fast Cash. That's another one of my businesses. Mm -hmm. We have three locations. Uh, in Opelousas, we have one. I call it across the street from Barney's Cleaners. Yeah. Uh, and then we have one in Crowley. And then we have one in Scott, Louisiana. So uh, we have three. We, we try to give you fast, polite, courteous, and uh, get you an answer as quick as we possibly can. You give us the information and uh, we'll run it and you can sit there and see what the results are mm -hmm. on your credit report. And uh, we certainly uh, help uh, some of the beginners. Maybe you haven't had a lot of credit in the past uh, and uh, you want to develop it sure. to a high degree. We can help you work up your credit scores and uh, be a good customer of ours and we'll try to treat you as a good customer of our company. Uh, one of uh, our partners in the horse racing business, Mr. Joe Rink, mm -hmm. and he's been the leader uh, of our syndicates. I've been talking about syndicates now for about three, maybe four years now. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, different syndicates. Each year we formed the syndicates. We formed three of them. Right. And uh, he has, uh, he lives in Metairie and has done a great job. Uh, Either the first year that I met him, or maybe I did, I had not not met him, but Carl DeVille and Angie told me about uh, Mr. Joe and his son, Jay Rink. And uh, I went to a fundraiser. Uh, he had ALS, better known mm -hmm. as Lou Gehrig's uh, disease. Right. And uh, I've been wearing that uh, bracelet right mm -hmm. here uh, ever since uh, I went to that on a Sunday in Metairie, Louisiana. And, uh, well, the bad news is, is he, he's died. Uh, he fought this uh, disease for five years. He uh, had, uh, between he and his wife, second wife, they had eight children. Wow. Eight children. And they were with uh, Ms. Ms. Patsy had gone, his mother had gone uh, with him and some in-laws. I mean, it was a large group. They had gone over to Florida. And he loved the beach, and he had played on the beach that day and went to bed and nothing unusual and didn't wake up the next this Saturday morning. Uh, they found him dead, uh, as I understand it, the best I can tell you. Uh, real, real sad. He came to the races on a number of occasions mm -hmm. that 
when Got he first pictures. came, he, he he was on a little scooter, and uh, well, he walk, was walking, and then mm -hmm. a scooter, and then a wheelchair, and uh, at the end, uh, he was not getting out near as much. Although, like I said, he loved the beach. That's what mm -hmm. his daddy told me. I talked to Mr. Joe this morning to get uh, the uh, weather, the time, and all of the uh, funeral. And uh, the funeral will take place Saturday, starting at 11 a.m. till about 1 o'clock will be visitation at St. Clement of Rome Catholic Church at 4617 West Esplanade in Metairie. Mm -hmm. And uh, the mass, uh, the, then the mass will be at 1.30 p.m., all at the church facility. And uh, I wrote a little note here that one of the last things Mr. Joe said about his son is Love he loved the beaches, and that's where he died. Uh, on vacation so it's uh, a real hard day for them I know but uh, they've had a long time to prepare for it well we've come to the end of the first segment so we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back in one minute welcome back to the second quarter of the Bobby Dupre show and we do it in 15 minute uh, quarters and uh, that's four for the 60 and uh, of course, my sidekick here is Matt LeBlanc. Matt, uh, you got a couple of our good sponsors available? Sure, sure, sure. Let's talk about Piggly Wiggly. You can go to gotothepig.com and see this right here. These are the specials on Piggly Wiggly's website. If you go to Piggly Wiggly, I'm sorry, go to the pig.com, you can see these specials. They got them broken down by store for you, but the two locations in Opelousas and the location in Simsport. And this is a great place to go to see what's on special right now. And I tell you, the first thing that caught my eye in this ad right here, and we were just talking about this off camera. This ad says whole boiled crawfish, five pound package, two for $10. That's a five pound package of boiled crawfish Two of them for $10. That's 10 pounds for $10. You can't find that anywhere. No. Uh, you cannot no, find that no. anywhere. That uh, is that, amazing. Yeah. I, in fact, I, I asked him. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, he said, you read that right? <laughs> Did you read that right, Matt? He says, I read it back three times. I said, okay, maybe a Just fourth. to be sure, because it didn't seem real to me either. But that is amazing. Yep. That's a good. So go go to Piggly Wiggly. It's a good start to get your weekend uh, Oh, absolutely. Started. And a ton of other good stuff. Just check out the ad. Paper towels, two for a dollar. That's 50 cents a piece, folks. You, you just can't beat those prices. So go see them over at Piggly Wiggly in Opelousas. And while I'm talking about Piggly Wiggly, our, the cross section of Piggly Wiggly, we got Jason and Joey. We got uh, Jason Hugay over at the Steamboat Warehouse. And look at this. Nice visual right there for the Steamboat Warehouse. We're always telling you about the food and the, um, the ambiance. There's Chef Jason Hugay right there preparing food. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. And look how beautiful this restaurant is. Steamboat now you, Warehouse. Now, now you, won't, you won't find him open at uh, noon except on Sundays. He has a Sunday brunch. That's right. But uh, on the other nights, uh, Tuesday through uh, Saturday night, uh, he's open at 5 o'clock. Picture's worth a thousand words. Folks, look at that steak with crawfish etouffee on top. And look at the building. Beautiful. Beautiful, nice location. It's kind of stood the test of time. It sure also, has. The building was built in 1820. <laughs> it sure pretty, has. Pretty old, a little bit before I was born. That is correct. Got one more we want to bring in here, and we are going to ask the question, do you have time to make several trips to your pharmacy? And let me pull up the graphic right here while we're talking about it. Do you have time to make several trips to your pharmacy each month for your prescription? Do you sometimes forget to fill your medications on time? Are you taking care of an elderly loved one and need help tracking their prescriptions? Wouldn't it be convenient to pick up all your medications once a month? Medicine Shop can do that for you. That's the Medicine Shop in Opelousas. It is a free service called Simplify My Meds, and you usually have the same copay as any other pharmacy in Opelousas. So they're asking you, Dirk is asking you to try it, you will like it. That's the medicine shop in Opelousas. And uh, they're located at 1717 South Union Street, uh, right next to Junior Schneider and Chase Bank and Jim Bowie Branch, all in that location. So go see them over at the medicine shop in Opelousas. I've got something here that came out of the little uh, weekly newspaper in Avalls Parish. And uh, it's about uh, 
a native mm -hmm. of uh, Opelousas, Louisiana, born and uh, raised. Early education was in uh, Opelousas, and I'm speaking of Dr. Bob Nicholson. Of course, that's Bobby Nicholson and mm -hmm. Mary Ann Nicholson's uh, son. And uh, Dr. Bob uh, is an orthopedic uh, surgeon. He had been uh, out of practice, active practice, for oh, about 13 years, if I remember the article correctly. And uh, he decided to go get back into the practice, and he uh, was uh, introduced to a young lady that uh, runs uh, one of these uh, small uh, clinics uh, over in, uh, in Avalls Parish in, in, in Marksville, uh, or is it Simsport? Might know Simsport. Okay. Uh, in Simsport, where, where we just got through talking about Piggly Wiggly in Simsport. That's right. Uh, Dr. Nicholson uh, said that he wanted to get back in, and this lady convinced him that this would be a good opportunity to help uh, an area that's lacking in medical treatment. They just kind of sit not I'm there sure. alone, I'm, Simsport yeah. is. Closest and, thing uh, would be Marksville around that yeah, area. Yeah, and that's several that's a miles. Good little, yeah, it's a good no, trip. Another little 25, 20 miles probably. So he uh, started out on Thursdays, he making one day, but he's not just treating for orthopedic uh, broken bones. Mm -hmm. uh, he's treating the whole person uh, best it, that he can, and if he needs to, you know, re refer them to a specialist, well then he'll they'll go from there. But uh, isn't that a, a nice gesture on his part? And of course, he comes from a medical family on his uh, mama's side. Uh, Mary Ann's uh, daddy was Dr. Sidney Rosa, and of course he was a legend in mm -hmm. his own time. Uh, best dressed uh, gentleman that probably, maybe ever worked uptown in Opelousas. Uh, he had a, a flower on his lapel every day mm -hmm. and red roses whenever possible. And uh, just uh, uh, an immaculate dresser. We've had some others, Mr. Harry Tankle, but he was in the clothing business. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he was extremely well dressed, and, and there's a few others, but Dr. Rosa, he just kind of got that, he just had, had that about style. himself. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was a stylish person. So, uh, Bob, uh, thank you for giving of yourself that way. Uh, and, and you're hearing more and more of these clinics opening up to keep these emergency rooms down. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, somehow or another, uh, well, what you're seeing, seeing too is, is a shift back to, to the old, older days, you know, where, where you had a community doctor and everybody went to the community doctor and then you had the conglomerates that came along and now people are making that move back to the, the community doctor. To the smaller mm -hmm. firms. So anyhow, good, good article here. Thanks for the, and Vicky gave me that article. And you got uh, a, a couple of pictures you want to show? Yeah, let's let's show All a few right. pictures. We, you we talked have... earlier about your your lunch. That would be one of the first things you did whenever you left here, and uh, I couldn't get to it while you were saying it, so I'll show those pictures right there. Where'd y'all go to lunch? We went to uh, Chili's, which would be across the uh, oh, okay. interstate Chili's. here. There's Eddie. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, the young lady is, uh, I have her name, uh, with the red hair, beautiful red hair, I might, Nikki, Nikki. is her name. And of course, uh, Nikki knew uh, Charlie and, uh, and Eddie, uh, first name basis. That's There's not Charles. their first time eating there. <laughs> and uh, Charles on the cell phone uh, as normal. Uh, uh, always on the phone. Uh -huh. And uh, that's when I met with them right after the program last week. And I didn't want them to hear the rumor that I was considering no, retiring. No, right. uh, I, I tried to do it in a professional Absolutely. way. Absolutely. And, and who knows, maybe, maybe they'll convince me to start up another, maybe once a month, a couple of hours. I don't know what y'all can do, we'll see. what's available, but. Uh, We've got to work it out and figure we, it out. Yep. And that's then, a nice plate of food you had right there. You, good. Oh, and it's good food. It I'll looks good. You, uh, <laughs> I'm at, hungry now. Eddie, uh, Eddie's a good eater, so what, whatever he ordered, I ordered the mm -hmm. same thing. Well, you know, it's healthy, he, too. And Oh, and very much. salad. Uh, let's see. Okay. And, of course, uh, Eddie and uh, Charles uh, with Delta Media had also bought the KSLO, so uh, they bought the two... Mm -hmm media stations uh, in Opelousas, both the KDCG, our television station that we had started, and uh, KSLO, which was started back in 1946, I think. Right. By Mr. Jones. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of uh, more of, and we, I'm not going to mention, uh, talk about the young girl that was killed uh, on Tuesday afternoon with by a fallen tree falling on, on the car she was 
uh, getting to her house in. Uh, I'll, I'm waiting to see if we possibly get some of the funeral arrangements, but this is the young uh, Gabby LeJack. I'll speak about a couple of others, and uh, one is uh, Prescott uh, Dupuy. Uh, Prescott uh, had a, a real short notice. Uh, he was thinking he was healthy according to what I understand, <laughs> and uh, one weekend, about three weeks uh, prior to his death, uh, he started maybe running a little fever, not feeling well. Uh, the next day was kind of the same thing. So his his wife uh, says, uh, Jan says, uh, honey, we need to go to the doctor and find out what this is. Maybe it's give you some medication and get you well right mm -hmm. away. Well, he went and through some examination after examination, I suppose. I, I'm just figuring how this built up. By the time that he, the afternoon had come, he already knew that he had uh, life-threatening uh, cancer. Uh, no uh, treatments uh, available. Hmm. Uh, it was all over his body. And uh, according to what I understand, uh, he was told that uh, he had approximately three weeks. And you know how long he lived? Three weeks. Wow. Uh, what a short death. A real fine fella. Uh, I knew his going back to his daddy. Mr. A.J. and Miss Wanda, they used to be regulars at Toby's and Cajun Music. Mm -hmm. uh, they were regulars at that. Uh, the, the Dupuy brothers uh, were Cajuns and proud to be Cajuns, and they were big friends with Miss Eula Savoy and that group, sure. and they f went to Texas and did some dancing on the weekends. And Anyhow, Prescott uh, worked with his father at um, the uh, Dupuy Memorials, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember they had come up with an invention on making these beautiful uh, columns, concrete columns. Okay. And uh, that uh, really kept them busy. I'm not sure if that's still in operation or not. Uh, I'll have to run, I know where it's located, uh, go by there. But anyhow, uh, Prescott was a fine fella and uh, he leaves behind a, a, a fine young family and a, a wife that's uh, known by all of us uh, in the community as being uh, uh, very friendly and very active. My deepest sympathies to the family. And uh, also, uh, yeah, I, attached. Had, there I, you go. I had Miss Patricia. I don't have a picture on, on uh, Patricia Ann Woodson. Uh, we called her Pat. She was a classmate of ours. We graduated mm -hmm. from Opelousas High School together. Uh, and uh, she survived, of course, by her husband, Pearlie Woodson, and her daughter, Jennifer. Uh, always uh, jolly, the picture that you see here, and I forgot to take a picture of it, but the picture that was in the paper uh, announcing uh, the, the, in the obituary section, uh, that's Pat. That's a perfect picture of Pat. Our lo we love you, Pat. You did a great job for all of us throughout high school. And I've got another picture here of uh, maybe which one you that one or what's no the, that one just an obituary no no okay. uh -uh. no I may have another obituary but I'm not sure uh, the one with the lady by herself pushing the oh uh, yeah sure Miss Miss Felita there we go uh, Miss Felita Boani Mr John Boani is. Uh, was her husband, and uh, of course, uh, Fleeta uh, is very active in the Orphan Train uh, Museum okay. and Orphan Train Movement. Uh, her mother was one of the uh, riders okay. that came down from New York City uh, into the Opelousas community. Uh, what you see the fr the smile you see right there? She wears that all the time. You see the pretty? You see how she's pretty dressed? Mm -hmm. She dresses like that to go shopping. Look grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what a what a friend. Thank you for always being so sweet. Then I took a picture uh, with, uh, with another group. With another group. This uh, one right here. That one right there. Uh, the lady in the middle with the zero eight uh, on her T-shirt uh, is Miss Geraldine uh, Andrus. And uh, they asked me, Mr. Bobby, do you remember uh, when you had your camp on? Uh, by Catabla, right out of Washington, on Stelly Road. Uh, you remember that big, big uh, pig we had, that big sow? I said a huge, one of the biggest pigs that I <laughs> ever saw. And uh, everybody that came 
to, to the camp, I took them over to shore because <laughs> it was I, so big. It was, yeah, it was so big, and it, you weren't disturbing anybody because it was not into their yard. It was right mm -hmm. next to the to their yard, and uh, I, I made uh, many a trips to show them that big pig. And uh, the girl on the the lady on the left with the glasses uh, is the uh, daughter of Geraldine. That's Lydia, and then the, all the way on the right in the white uh, t-shirt is uh, Rene Renesia uh, Rido. And uh, the, uh, oh no, she is Rene Cerrito, the, the lady on the left with the glasses. And uh, Reg Reagan Celestine? Celestine is the daughter. That's right, on the right. And there's a little story about the daughter. Uh, and, the, and the daughter's uh, child is in, down there. It's four generations okay. uh, right here. And uh, the young lady on the right uh, says, you remember what you gave me? And I said, yes, I gave you a prayer book and a, and a rosary when she made her first communion. Hmm. And it uh, goes way back. And she said, you know what, Mr. Bobby? I still have it. And, uh, you, you know, that, that, that makes your day when, yep. when you can give something <clears throat> like this to uh, almost a stranger, sure. you know. But, but they welcomed me every time I went to, to show the pig. If they were around, they... We had to talk with them, and then I introduced them, and and they introduced themselves, and uh, just good folks. Uh, and uh, of course, Miss Geraldine worked uh, for Taco Bell in Opelousas for many, many years. And okay, I, that's where I, I recognize her from. And I think she might have mm -hmm. re retired now, but uh, but she I knew I recognized her face. She worked for Smitty over there, Acre, uh, the owner, uh, mm -hmm. for many years, and. Uh, in fact, uh, he had something to do with getting them that house that they rented back there. I okay. don't, don't remember exactly. It was a tie-in with uh, Dr. Emil Vont, and then now, of course, it's uh, the son uh, that's in charge of that property now. Well, good. Whew, well, look, man, segment I, two, we've got to wrap this one up, and we're going to come back for segment three in one minute. Welcome back to the third quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, along with my sidekick, Mr. I went to say Andrew again, <laughs> boy, that habit, hard to break those yep. habits, Mr. Matt LeBlanc. And, of course, Matt was always in the background on the other side of that. And when Andrew retired, mm -hmm. uh, kind of early, re took an early retirement, uh, he uh, was replaced and uh, you moved away from there and you handle mm -hmm. all of it. They don't see all that big screen that you really work on, but... You control a good bit of it right here on this. Uh, yeah, some of it. Uh, got, got your timer going on right here, and over here we got all kinds of machines you don't see. So uh, he keeps me busy during the show. A couple of sponsors, please. Sure, let's talk about Quarters Casino in Opelousas, on the north side of Opelousas. You can find them at exit what? 23. Put you on the spot, but you got it. Exit 23. Visit them for some great, authentic Mexican food at El Pico de Gallo, the restaurant that they have inside. Uh, of course, you can get good Chevron fuel there. It's very well lit at night, very safe, and that's a big concern these days. Very you know, big concern. That, it, it's a huge concern, but it's a very safe, vel, very well managed, very well lit environment. And, of course, you can try your hand at a whole dozens and dozens of... Um, Video poker video machines. Poker machines. So yep. go go to Quarters Casino and Travel Plaza, and you never know, you might just get lucky. And let's talk about a place I've been seeing a lot of lately is St. Landry Homestead in Opelousas, Eunice, and Port Barry. New locations in Eunice and a new one coming soon to Port Barry. Opelousas, uh, a lot of revamping that uh, went on there. A lot of remodeling and uh, mm -hmm. updating of uh, It looks all. great. And, uh, you know, that's what, what Andrew left here, and he's updating the uh, internet uh, devices used at Kerrville uh, Toyota. That's correct. Uh, in Opelousas, uh, they had probably hadn't done that in a few years, and boy, this this technology is changing so fast that uh, you you need it. And uh, I know uh, there's some people that rent from me that uh, do a lot of uh, work uh, on the internet devices uh, used uh, in the banking at St. Landry Homestead. There's a St. Landry Homestead website right there. As you can see, they've got personal banking, business banking, e-banking, and, you know, see them for all your lending solutions. There was Kip right there, and there's Miss Wanda. She banks with them, you know, so. Miss Wanda, you know, back in time cafe There's Kip Landry in the center Street. there. 
So uh, definitely a, a hometown bank, but with all the big bank amenities that you can get, the credit cards and, and everything. Visit them St. Landry Homestead. You can visit them online at stlandryhomestead.com. Back to you. Okay, and uh, what we're going to talk about next well, is... Well, we had some pictures. You want to yeah, bring those up? We've got some pictures. Uh, you want to go with the gentleman sure. uh, over at Evangeline Downs? Okay. By himself looking Let's up pull uh, him at up me. right there. Yes, there you Mr. go. Mr. Kevin Babineau. And when he said Kevin Babineau, it rang a bell. Mm. Then uh, I, I talked to him a few minutes, and I said, uh, there's something tells me that uh, I think I know your daddy. And he started laughing. He said, you know, Dad, his daddy is uh, Ben Babineau. And uh, he, he says, boy, Mom and Daddy love, love the, your program. They watch it every <laughs> week, every week. And I said, well, do me a favor. Don't tell them that you're going to be on the program. You're going to bust the balloon if you do that. <laughs> so I don't know if he told his mom and daddy or what, but uh, uh, good to hear. He was very cordial and uh, good to hear what uh, mom and dad and what dad is doing these days. And uh, at one time he had a nursing home and uh, I think now he has a hunting uh, operation that, that he, ha he handles. And uh, Mr. Ben's going to be busy. You don't have mm -hmm. to worry about that. And Kevin, thanks for saying hello. And uh, Evangeline yeah. Downs, of course, is uh, the, the racing is taking place from Wednesday through Saturday night. Starts at 5.40 p.m. in the afternoon. Usually about 9.15, uh, 9.30, uh, all nine races. And one day a week they're having ten races, but uh, it looks like that's the schedule. But... Uh, it's real, real, goes on real mm -hmm. early. You're back home real early. And uh, if you, uh, maybe the, the missus might want to play the machines. They've got the machines, the slot machines mm -hmm. there. Uh, you can play, and they've got restaurants open 24-7. And so there's a lot goes on in that place. And, then of course, if you have friends coming in uh, and they're looking for a hotel, I could certainly recommend the Evangeline Downs Hotel, sure. which is all attached uh, to this facility. You can have a few drinks and walk straight to your room. You yeah, don't have to right. get in a vehicle or anything. People appreciate that mm -hmm. fact because it only takes a couple of beers, and you can't pass that test. That's you might right. be able to pass that test to get out of a grade school, but that <laughs> test is a little bit hard to pass. <laughs> Yours truly knows that from experience. Now but you, that's another story. You're talking about horse racing. we got to mention, of course, this weekend we had a Triple Crown winner. Triple first one Crown since 1978. Huh? We have a couple of pictures. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Jim, Jim. Oh, Lo that's right. Yep. Jim Lopez. Jim was there. And Jimmy, his son. And uh, there you go right here. So that that was uh, that was your horse that was running, right? That one. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a horse one day that would qualify. But it wouldn't uh, have done you any good. He gave away all his winnings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome to the Belmont Park, and that's uh, Jim Jim Lopez on the right and his son Jimmy on the left. And uh, uh, this is before I think the race has started. But can you imagine how excited he was? They 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 dressed up. Uh, a little bit, you, you kind of dress up to go to those races. And mm -hmm. In Opelousas, you come in your jeans and a sports shirt or anything. You yeah, know, they, they got their own kind of style for I these I wore shorts these last week. So. One, of the not, one of the evenings was warm, hot. Uh, but uh, they had a blast, and uh, i never been to the... But i tell you who else went to the Belmont, not this year, what? but in 1973 when Secretariat won the Triple Crown mm -hmm. uh, m and won by 31 lengths, my b brother John oh, yeah? had taken my daddy, Mr. Cornelius oh, Dupree. Wow. They saw Witness the race history. in person. Witness, Witness history. The, yes. And uh, so uh, it's now everybody will be talking about the latest uh, winner of the Triple Crown and how long it's going to be before it occurs again. Last time it happened, it happened about three times in a short period of time. Yeah. Then it's been a drought for 37 drought. years. Yep. It was 78 or 73? Well, uh, the, the last winner, the mm -hmm. Secretariat won in 73, affirmed one in 78, 78 or huh? 79. Yeah. 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 And yes, we've sir. been in a drought since then. Since That's right. Then, that is correct. See, you have an, another picture right here. Uh, this is, I Got think y'all were fly in here this morning. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is a birthday party held on Horseshoe Lake, and uh, Mr. Mason, 
uh, had a birthday, and I think he was Ooh, uh, he eight. Oh, he likes that for And he's he trying to blow that, uh, the, the candles out. Oh, he's blowing. Out. I thought he was surprised with the no, present. No, he's trying okay, to blow the candles, the candles out. And uh, then they're playing in a the pool. There's a nice little pool. And this is uh, Vicky's brother, uh, Wade. That's his uh, kind of, I guess you'd call him stepson. And uh, also uh, his birthday, so it was a double birthday. But go. all the birthday attention went to Mason, of course. So pretty he's, property he's, out there too. Oh yeah, that. and that's that's Horseshoe Lake mm -hmm. right in the back. Very nice. And that's yeah, you had a dog friend there. Look, look those eyes, beautiful, so. beautiful eyes. Uh, that's uh, Miss Marilyn and uh, Vicky, and I guess Clint's dog. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a, a, a family dog. There you go. Uh, now, this is what you were talking to me about a little Open while hands, ago. Open hands, right. Uh, there's a young lady uh, that uh, is a, Angela, is the daughter of Mr. James Gill from uh, Mooreville, Louisiana. And uh, she, of course, uh, has cancer. And uh, the bills on treating of cancer, I've talked about cancer treatments now for almost 40 years. Mm -hmm. There's always somebody sure. having a fundraiser or you learn of another one. Prescott it's Dupree always who close to home. was notified and died shortly thereafter. Uh, this young lady has been receiving treatments and she worked uh, at a clinic or a hospital and she worked in the area where cancer treatment, cancer patients were treated. So. She's very familiar of what's going on mm -hmm. in her life. In fact, uh, she and two of her friends, and uh, Penny and uh, Vicky, are all going to Florida. That they, they were crossing the bridge uh, in uh, Saint Mobile? in Saint Francis oh, okay. to get back on uh, I-10 for a little piece, and then I-12. Uh, anyhow, uh, Mr. Gio is a real nice. I have a picture of him. And they had a fundraiser him here. this past Saturday uh, over uh, at, uh, it called uh, Open Hands Sharing God's Love. And it's a, a, a nonprofit. It's been licensed by the state as a nonprofit. And uh, also it's, uh, I guess you'd, you'd call it non-denominational. It, it's uh, people that's getting together to share God's love and, and if you if you can't love it's, it's it's hard to live really have a good life that's correct and uh, I had never met Mr. Gill before but uh, he is a, a real believer in helping and uh, I know this is helping his daughter through mm -hmm. her struggles that she's having right now with her dad and family behind her and then all the friends that turned out for the first and it won't be the last because they, they formed a board that uh, will oversee various fundraisers that they're going to have Good. throughout the year. And uh, they, have a, they have three anonymous people that's going to choose if you, have a, you need some medical treatments and you're just really down on your luck or you have, say, a, a fire at home and you lose your home or you lose portions of your home and you kind of don't have mm -hmm. enough insurance or don't have any insurance, uh, you're going to talk to Mr. James and they're going to have three anonymous people that's going to receive these applications. They'll give you an address, where to send your application. They'll give you the app. You fill it out. You send it to these three people and then they're going to make a choice of whether they can and how much they can afford to give according to what they have in the mm -hmm. bank. And then Mr. James and, and his board of directors will get in touch with the person applying. Thank uh, God for organizations and people like yep, that. And this in is the a world. brand new organization and uh, with God's help uh, they'll There's be the logo successful. Again right there. And did you meet him at the lake? Is that what that, this that, lake picture that, is? That, yes, that's the lake and of course that's that afternoon. That's later, Horseshoe Lake? Late, it's Horseshoe Lake. Okay. Uh, later in beautiful. the afternoon. Oh, it's, got it's a beautiful right lake, and uh, the Bordelons uh, own a portion of it, and uh, the, the uh, oh, I can't think of the name right now, but anyhow. Well, that's a good spot right there to take a quick little break. We've oh. got our sunset up on the screen, so we're going to come right back in one minute to finish out the show. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, and we're going to have to really put it in high gear 
Just like uh, Jimmy Johnson. And like America all of Farrell them. did at the end of that race. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't have to go to NASCAR. We, we, have, we can talk about that race, but that's old news now. And uh, we want to give them some new news that hopefully they haven't heard. What uh, about our sure. good sponsors? We Let's still talk have about one? our good sponsors over at LHC Group in Opelousas. I'm sorry, in Opelousas and all over the state and all over the nation. But um, pulling up their title right here. So their main office is in Lafayette. That's right, main office is in Lafayette. And their motto is it's all about helping people. <laughs> And kind of like our ad we just talked about, uh, helping hands, you know, and it's all about helping people. And they've got their fingers in every bit of the medical community from patients and families, healthcare professionals, hospitals, health systems. Um, when you or your loved one needs personal assistance at home, choose a team that will treat you with compassion, respect, and dignity. They're talking about their home health services. Yes, sir. Community-based services professionals committed and passionate about delivering high-quality care to every patient. So visit LHC. You can visit them on the website, which would be lhcgroup.com, and check them out for yourselves. They're very, very involved with the community and very involved with the medical community. LHC Group, it's all about helping people. And we'll move over to Port Barry for the main location and talk about Dixie Storage locations in Port Barry, Opelousas, and Washington. You put them together, they got over a million square feet in storage in those three locations. That's a lot of storage, a, folks. What, a, what a vision Mr., Mr. McCormick had. Uh, it's Absolutely. unbelievable. Absolutely. And uh, family is carrying on going forward. Any kind of storage you need, be it commercial, be it personal, large, small, air conditioned, not air conditioned, you can find it all at Dixie Storage. So visit them online at www.dixiestorage.com. All right, we've got a couple of pictures we want to bring back in right here. Are you, uh, you have something you want to get to first? No, go ahead. Okay. Uh, we, that's the pool you want to show uh, the sure, kids playing at the that. birthday party. I, I forgot. Uh, well, Vic. before we do that, there you go. You had a picture of some flowers yes, right here. Yes, that was isn't nice. That beautiful flowers. And then uh, right after that, you got Kermit sitting on your shoulder. Kermit is watching <laughs> the ball game. And I, oh, that's what he's doing. Yeah, and Vicky caught uh, us uh, kind of uh, not paying attention to her. We we were looking at the t television in front of us. Did Kermit enjoy the game? Oh, Kermit. Well, look, look how yeah, he's smiling. Look how he's sitting, smiling, <laughs> crossed his leg. Just I had my legs crossed. He crossed his just that's like right. it. You know, I mean, Kermit's something else. Man, we got what is that? It's a little uh, little sunset oh, okay. there. I'm not sure where. Yeah, just but didn't had didn't turn the sky little, orange yet. Yep, a little different. And, and there's some more pictures from the birthday. That's Wade. That's her brother and his wife Sherry. Uh huh. And there's that the pool they were in. The kids are playing in the pool, and then there's a picture where there's a little girl. Ah, uh, there the, she the, is. The little, on the left uh, is little Jenna. And it took her a little while to get in the water, but once she got in, I'll tell oh, yeah. you what, she got it. The, they got into having a lot there of fun. Is, having some fun. And this is when she first got in. Looked at how, how long her hair is, how beautiful. But then it got wet, and <laughs> she had fun. And then butterflies. Is that a butterfly? Yep, and that, that's at Wade's house. Uh, beautiful. He's got all kind. Oh, isn't that some beautiful mm -hmm. butterflies? Gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look Had at to take that. a picture of that. That's for probably the first time, other than when I went to Key West with Jimmy and and uh, Vicky Frederick. Uh, Several years ago, New Year's Eve, we went to a butterfly. It's enclosed and it's just. Oh, yeah, a butterfly. Uh, uh, millions uh, terrarium of. Terrarium or yeah, what, what they call it. Yep. And then it looks like you made a little trip over to Tony Sashery's. We had our monthly mass last night, uh, Buzz uh, Sashery and mm -hmm. uh, the company uh, in, in encouraged us to attend and we got to see the facilities uh, over at Tony. They've moved uh, from Lombard Street to. I-49, right mm -hmm. next to, I guess, uh, would be uh, uh, the, the big uh, Ford dealership there. The Sterling uh, Ford, right next Sterling, door to Sterling yeah, Ford. St Sterling Ford. And uh, that's just some of their advertising uh, p pictures and all. And did we sh show a picture of Mr. Tony himself? Yes, we did. That was the first picture. First picture mm -hmm. you showed, and you showed the picture of the big sign at night. Yep. Beautiful. Sure did. Great facility. Uh, the food was just as good. Uh, I, I made it a point to make sure I went because I, I knew Jude uh, Tozan, uh, who used to run the Village Cafe, owned the Village mm -hmm. Cafe, closed that down and went full-time chef. 
the head uh, chef, with right. uh, Tony Sashers, and he prepared a meal for us last night. Oh, I'm sure he uh, did. Oh, and the bread pudding. I, I am I have sure to admit, he did. Uh, Jude, I, I went back. You saw me serve myself the first time. But when you turned your back, I went and got me another scoop of that delicious <laughs> bre bread pudding. Delicious with, with some pecans in it. You can't go wrong. Tell me about this. Uh, this was sent to me. This was a picture of uh, our staff there. Wow. Uh, back, uh, oh, probably around uh, 1980. And uh, the young lady on the bottom left, uh, Cindy mm -hmm. Cook, uh, sent this to B or somebody in the office. And uh, B uh, got me this copy here. Uh, what a what a staff we had back then. We used to put in 60 to 80 hours mm -hmm. every week, and everybody was wondering uh, how many more hours they could put them <laughs> over time. And we needed every bit of it. One That's of, the key to premium success. Premium financing. When when OPAC was in the heyday of premium financing, before we went into consumer loans, uh, we did a little over 46,000 loans. Wow. Say like Clay Bertrand, 46,000 Thousand. loans. Thousands of loans. Uh, that was, uh, it took a lot of work and the computers were not near as efficient and fast as they are today. But uh, this group here and a lot of others in the background uh, did a beautiful job. Thanks and to all of you and thanks for that picture. And uh, this was a picture uh, of the international uh, Rotary International Zone 31 congratulating uh, Opelousas Rotary Club member Bruce Godin was named a major donor to Rotary International. Bruce uh, lives and bleeds for that Rotary Club. He does yes, a lot of work and, for that. And, and, and a lot of other things too he mm -hmm. does. He's in the background. Yes uh, he is. I know he, he worked hard on trying to get this issue going forward with the public library mm -hmm. for the parish. Uh, a lot of things that, that we don't even know about That's that he's right. participating. Keep up the good Thanks work for all and you congratulations. Do, yes, now, sir. before we get too far and we run out of time, we want to get to, we want to talk about, talk we didn't about get funeral we, arrangements yet. We, we didn't get the funeral arrangements, but you can get them. The uh, young lady, uh, Gabrielle uh, Gabby LeJack, age 17, beautiful young girl. I, did we? Did we show a picture? No, I don't have a picture have of her. Picture we were waiting to get, hopefully we were going to get funeral arrangements before the end of the before show. That's why we waited until now. We waited until the end. But uh, she had just driven home. She had gone to uh, uh, cheerleading mm -hmm. practice at Opelousas Catholic where uh, she was uh, going to be a senior. Mm -hmm. And uh, she survived, of course, by her daddy, son, and her mama, Kim. Kim was uh, Bordelon, Jackie and uh, Donald Bordelon's young daughter. And uh, son, his daddy was Mr. Nason LeJack. And uh, I know he's got uh, uh, Gary LeJack is, is, uh, would be her uncle, uh, Gabby's uncle. Uh, he works with the, with the uh, St. Landry Department. Parish Sheriff's mm -hmm. Department. Just to kind of give you a little bit about the family background. Well, well known, uh, heavily involved. Uh, uh, I, I knew the, their oldest uh, son, uh, I wrote it down. I, I, well, just not, just not a, a, an absolute uh, tragedy yeah, what happened. He, he, he played, uh, he's about 24 years old. Her brother, her mm -hmm. oldest brother would be about 24 because uh, he played, uh, played ball with Megan. Uh, T-ball. T-ball. T-ball mm -hmm. when they were five or six years yeah. old. And uh, he's he gave up baseball and went strictly to uh, I can see his name and I can't Logan. pronounce Logan, yes. Logan, Logan, mm -hmm. uh, gave up uh, the baseball and everything and, and is, is a real top notch. Uh, he's the champion golfer at uh, Indian Hills Country Club okay. and went on to uh, play golf for McNeese State uh, University in Lake Charles. Getting back to the young daughter, the body will be at uh, Lafon Ordwin Funeral Home. They're in charge, so it'll be easy for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to be hearing more and more. A, a tree fell on her car when she drove up. That wind, that weather that changed, and you get those probably 60 to Gusts, 80, 90 yeah. miles an hour gust mm -hmm. knocked a big pecan tree onto the car and killed her. It reminded everybody of the uh, Ben Crosby and Patricia Car Crosby. They got killed in that car right mm -hmm. near sunset oh, right, right. on 182 one day. Uh, very similar, just instant killed them. And uh, I, all I can say is uh, we're going to offer all of our prayers. Last night at the supper, by the way, uh, Father uh, Ken uh, 
uh, Domain, uh, from, from Leonville. Leonville. Uh, he uh, led us in uh, a rosary. We did. We said a rosary good. as a group for the family and, of course, for the the good uh, of, of Gabby. Uh, uh, I'm the parent of, of an 18-year-old and a 17-year-old, and I can't even begin to imagine a tragedy like this. Oh, it, so it, deepest it, sympathies it, to it, the family. It, it, it must be something to experience that. You know, you get a phone call or something. You, they might have been at work or something, both of them. You know, just they, a normal they day, home. too. Yeah, just mid, middle of the week so type of day. So anyhow, our very deepest of sympathies and uh, the community is going to really, really take it because uh, this is, I think, the fifth young person from, OC. from Opelousas mm -hmm. Catholic that's gotten killed in accidents. The, sco uh, the school's sort. been plagued. It's been plagued with, with unfortunate tragedies. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you better get that, what, that what, prayer book up and uh, we can close out with that. It'd be a, a good spot to do that. So we want to thank you for watching. Uh, let him look for his his uh, book there. There yeah. you go, it's in there. Yeah. We're going to bring out a thought for the day to close out the program like we always do. We'll let you find that. We uh, on the uh, 2nd of June 2002, uh, Nick Fakuri died. And uh, of course, uh, on the 22nd of uh, June, uh, my brother John died three years ago, and Attaway Darbone also died in 2008. Uh, 2002, I mean, he died. Uh, uh, 20 days, uh, June 22nd, Attaway died. Mm -hmm. So I lost two very close, close friends uh, then. And uh, we'll close with the prayer, the thought for the day. Uh, is my father make me understand always what you say and accomplish what you wish thank you for viewing thank you for helping and uh, please consider attending the church of your choice this week